2017 marked the 50th anniversary of San Francisco's Haight-Ashbury Summer of Love hippie movement, a time for young people to celebrate personal expression, drug experimentation, and easy sexuality. But something else occurred described as hippie-style, conservative, evangelical Christianity, named the Jesus Freaks or Jesus People. I'll look later at this movement, but first a little background on how things all unfolded. The 1960s counterculture included a spiritual dimension that attracted a lot of hippie interests. Besides Christianity, there also was meditation, Eastern religions such as Buddhism, Krishna, and Native American spirituality. But as the summer of love grew in numbers, a number of problems surfaced such as overcrowding, crime, sexually transmitted diseases, bad drug trips, and severe poverty. As many hippies became disillusioned, an opening was created for hippie Jesus Freak evangelists, urging people to follow Jesus Christ and forsake drugs and promiscuous sex. One of those key in growing the Jesus People movement was Ted Wise. He was a sailmaker who in 1965 was saved after one of his reoccurring LSD trips. Wise and his wife Elizabeth and several other hippie couples began to attend a local Baptist church in San Francisco. The look and non-conforming ways of these new believers antagonized many members of the church, keeping their long hair, eccentric fashion, and showing a dissatisfaction with middle-class Christianity, the group persevered. The church's pastor, John McDonald, saw all the problems in the area from homelessness, hunger, to sickness. He decided to do something more to help the hate ashbury masses. Along with the help of other Bay Area pastors, McDonald assisted Wise to establish a coffee house called The Living Room. Over the next year and a half, many hippie characters and thousands of runaway young people received ministering, soup and coffee, and donuts. At the same time, others in the Bay Area, like Kent Philpot, a Baptist seminary student, began to preach Christianity on the streets. By late 1968, they had opened a shelter named the Soul Inn. Christian communes opened up as well, a string of them in San Rafael, Walnut Creek, and other Bay Area communities. While the Jesus People movement was growing all across the country, like in Seattle, Detroit, and Fort Lauderdale, undoubtedly the hotbed of the movement located to south of Los Angeles. There, they attracted not only hardcore hippies from the drug culture, but masses of teenagers and youth groups at many of the area's churches. From the late 60s to the mid 70s, hundreds of independent communal homes, coffee houses, and Christian fellowships opened nationwide. Many remember prominent coffee houses like The Upper Room and The Belly of the Whale. Underground Jesus Papers were very popular in Los Angeles and Chicago. Most noteworthy, the Hollywood Free Paper and the Cornerstone stood out. In California, Jesus people had countless ocean baptisms, with thousands of enthusiastic teenagers being plunged beneath the waves. Young people were attracted to the movement through the use of folk, pop, and rock music. Whether using simple choruses in small groups, listening to guitar strumming artists in coffee houses, or sponsoring full-blown Christian rock concerts and music Music festivals, music was a central part of Jesus People life. The Dallas-based Campus Crusade for Christ in June 1972 hosted a day-long festival that attracted 150,000 people. By the late 1970s, the Jesus movement began to lose its popularity. The hippie style grew less popular among teens. New styles of music and fashion became embraced. The Jesus people themselves grew older and moved on. But their impact lived on and changed churches' worship styles and evangelical Christians' attitudes towards popular culture. The two largest Christian groups to emerge in the late 20th century America were Calvary Chapel's Fellowship of Churches and the Vineyard Denomination, both tracing their roots to the Jesus People movement. Chuck Smith founded the Calvary Chapel, while the Vineyard Church was an offshoot church co-founded by John Wimmer. Wimmer was also known for having played keyboard and singing vocals for a popular group, the Righteous Brothers, in 1962 to 1963. The Jesus People movement was a massive spiritual awakening. Its beneficiaries were mostly scorn-searching young people that came out of drugs and sex. The movement resulted in millions of people turning their lives over to Christ, members seeking out more understanding of the Holy Spirit, church planning all across the U.S. and the world, and giving contemporary Christian music its start. This is H.A. Graves.